It is definitely recording. It is definitely recording. Okay, good. I'm glad. I'm happy. Yay. Yay. All right. <laughs> so exciting. Well, all right, good. Well, let's, let's do it. Um. Okay, hey, first off, before we go any further, okay, guys, we just spent like an hour and a half recording, and then the system bugged out and didn't record. So I'm just going to apologize for that one. I'm sorry. The system it was, sucks. It was Eisen's it chair. It's too powerful to be contained by a mere half hour. Ugh. Sorry. But anyway, welcome yeah, but back anyway, to... anyway, things missed. We love Glaceon. Yeah. We love... Inuyasha and Gugumi didn't kiss in the manga, but they did in the anime. Um, what else? Uh, you should, you should, you should uh, watch Kill a Kill and Tengen Tapa Gurren Lagann and uh, uh, Naruto's <laughs> ending is highly debated. And uh, yeah, that. so welcome back to uh, attempt number two of the Chatter 622 podcast, uh, The Agony. <laughs> yeah. S- sorry, starring Chris Pine ripping his shirt off. Uh, um, you got me so excited and he didn't rip it fully off. So well, yeah, well, like it ripped it open. That's the point. Like yeah. I, I didn't say rip it off. He just ripped it open. Yeah, and but you said rip it off. You did just say rip it off. Those were your words. Whatever. Right there. Word, word smurds. Anyway. Word smurds. But anyway, yeah, uh, right. Welcome uh, to the podcast. So yeah. Where we can't contain our emotions anymore. Yeah. Uh, and so we had to rip our shirts open. Like. And okay. Yeah. Um. But anyway. Uh. So this chapter was divided into three parts. Um. Shit talk, uh, Aizen Kurotsugi and Aizen Palace. So, um, I love in the last podcast, last recording, it was sass and not shit talk because we're so tired. Yeah, I, I am, I, I think shit talk is a more, um, appropriate term because that's what they're doing. But, uh, shit talk, so the Shining Army don't like that Shunsui brought Aizen to the surface. Uh, they okay, our bounce are going. We're going, we're going Mach 5 because we've covered this stuff. Um, not to so, them, not to them. Well, they they've read it too. Like I, I'm just I'm just giving the bare minimum details because like they they they've read it by now. I'm just, it's a refresher. As long as they don't delve out on our opinions on the matter, not just. Blah, 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 blah. No, yeah, blah, blah, blah. They, they know mine, so I don't have to worry about that. But yeah, because if you uh, start so, talking fast, then I'm gonna start talking fast, and then you will not understand me. We Irish I'm not, people, we I'm talk not, fast. Um, I I will I will out not under be be understood you. So there, but um, so the Shinigami don't you know, like that. Since we brought eyes in the top of the Serite, because. Because of what he did in the past, he's kind of a dick, and they're like, oh no, my feelings, my pride, my my, my standards, and then Shunsu's like, bitch, please, we, we need his power, we need his, we need his sexy, his sexy abs, we, we need the power of his, um, um general, and above all, we need his chair. chair. All my all the mighty <laughs> chair. We need his chair, we need the plot kind of his chair to help us, and they're like, oh, okay. All hail so, the uh, yeah. So, yeah, what do you, what do you two think for the second time? <laughs> all hail the chair. All right. Well, good. Moving on. No, 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 no. We're not moving on. Right. Okay. I covered this briefly before. I was going to reply to Syl in the middle of his blog, but mm-hmm. yeah. Um. Sorry. Mm-hmm. They have no right to sass. They have no right to sass. They cannot sass him because no. Kyoku has lost everyone. The only thing he has lost is Nanao, and he only had him for hundred years of a long lifespan. He has lost everyone. He has lost my Okatake. He is mine. I have not got his Bankai. He has lost him. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm thinking of the guy in the professional who's like, bring me everyone. Everyone! Everyone. Everyone. <laughs> everyone. But yeah. Sorry, guys. But yeah, so they have no right to sass. I'm sorry. Yes, they have. What was it still said? They have problems of their own. Yeah, they mean problem being no, shit no, the world I, is I, ending. I don't mean that kind of I mean like their past problems. And like we've seen before that people get caught up on their own problems in this series quite a bit so it's, it's not so like emo. not emo they're just like emo. The, the... they cut up new problems it's totally emo there we go no man. it's not they're not like they're like oh my wrist let me cut it and they're like no they're like they're like i don't trust eisen which is completely valid given what he's done before they and then but they, they didn't know for they, they're just like eh. they, they they still didn't consider the fact that like they they they, they can they take they need any help they can get at this point which includes eisen and his uh plot kai what was it? Evil uh, versus evil. Smashed yeah, evil versus together. evil. Let, let us talk Gote or whatever the hell. Yeah, actually, but, the um, last time I seen a manga do that, did anyone know what happened to Orochimaru at the end of it? Like, uh, they no, they good, had, or... for, for some reason in Naruto, they just left the uh, the serial killer mad scientist um, unresolved. Snake man. E- e- even though the fact that like, peace would not change his goals or affect him at all, yeah. which, is kind <laughs> of a, which is kind of a bad thing to do, like... Like that's that's kind of the one plot thread it's you don't like, want to leave hanging. 
It's, it's like if Harry Potter left... Oh god, I don't want to spoil it. Just, just forget it. No, no, spoil it. Go. Dude, Harry Potter's been, been, done, been done for a while now. You can go ahead. Mean Snape kills Dumbledore. God damn, you ruined it for me. <laughs> Demote, Ben. I remember, actually, I remember seeing the movie. I read that page and I couldn't get past it for about 10 minutes. And then my friend rang and she was like, what's wrong? And I was like, because <laughs> I love Dumbledore. And she was like, no, what's wrong? And I was like, Harry <laughs> Potter. And she was like, no, don't tell me. And I was like, okay. Oh. And then I was trying to talk. And then she was like, okay, dude, what happened? Like, seriously, this is getting ridiculous. I was like, Dumbledore. <laughs> I, I mean, like, I mean, like, if I'm an alchemist, even though, um, like, Scar killed one of his parents, but even though he, he never really what? got, we joking. Um, oh no, but like, but he, but he killed his parents, even though he never got like punished for it. At least, like, he acknowledged it was wrong to do, and he decided to work towards nonviolent aims. But like in Naruto, Orochimaru just oh, okay. I guess he's, I guess he can go off and do his own thing now. Immortality, mad scientist experiments. Backdoor Taking handshakes, <laughs> uh, create a Facebook, crazy uh, twins rowing, but like whatever. It just, it's just seriously, don't leave that plot thread unresolved. You you need to, c come on, get it together. Yeah, Jesus we should have seen him locked up or something at the end. We, like, we, we should, he's we should, so we mental. We should have seen him thrown to the moon, along with Kaguya, because God knows they they would be great companions. But yeah. um. Well, she doesn't like talking anyway, and he loves it, so... Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, moving on to Kurohitsugi. He can use uh, his long tongues to keep her eyeballs nice and wet, you know, because she has, like, too many eyeballs. The blackening. Um, but, so, so Aizen decides that this, this, that this chair, even though it's powerful, is not his style, so he decided to destroy it with Kurohitsugi, and uh, inadvertently takes out the creatures that are getting toward him in the way, and... He, he fails to do so because it is the single most powerful character in the entire series and he can't me, even touch me, it. Me and Syl were arguing over that because there was those little monsters attacking and then... No, no, he was just trying to... Try to he he don't chair. care. He don't give a fuck about the monsters. He, he wants that chair out of the way because it's ruining his feng shui. I actually just think he was going to say, right, okay, we need to destroy the monsters and I'm just going to fuck with their heads, basically. I actually yeah. think that, like, seriously. Because he made them all run, basically. And then he's like, and oh, it, I'm impressed. It, and, it's and right. It, and, Anyway, apparently he's gotten stronger in Mugen because the power of the Hogoku, I don't know. It's the power and, of the chair. Yes, and so oh, because of this, his 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 unincantated, I presume that's the word the term for it, um Kurosugi is as powerful as his incantation one from two years ago, which is OP beyond belief, because that thing could apparently warp time and space with the sheer amount of gravity it produces or something. So uh yeah, eyes an OP. Was that Lots. two years ago? I'm pretty sure that was four years ago. Five. No, two years. Two years in story. Oh, right, in story. Okay. Yeah. Or technically three. Yeah, because manga time is different from from uh, our time. Okay. Yeah. No. 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 It, no. It was two years. It was two years. Or three, given. No. He, no. He, it was two he, years. He said nine no, years Shun's, ago. He no. said nine years ago. He said nine. Son, years ago. I can quote Shuns. We've on each. We said two years. Did he Not say two years ago? Yes, he oh, said. Oh, he, he said, did two years of talking. Yes, he did. Okay. Yeah. So there. Kubo, get get uh, Kubo can't maths. He can't now you say it. He so yeah, two years. So yeah, two years ago, that's the power level, and now he's. So now Incantator will probably just like create a new sub dimension of of uh, awesome if he did it. So uh, thoughts. He totally needs to make that three years to make it make sense. Or or he could just like. Change or he is retcon. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He should retcon it into three years. No, right? no, he should, no, he should just say that he should retcon. So he should uh, just retcon hit. everything about the nine days, nine weeks, nine hours, nine. No, no, he should retcon. All he did was retcon when Misaki died. That's about it. He just retcon that the whole thing oh, six years ago thing. Oh, yeah, all he did was say, oh, she, she, she died nine years ago, which would be seven years ago, two years ago. So then that would mean ah. that even though. So, yeah. What age were the twins at the time when she died? They like, were only like really young when they did when she like died. Like five days. How oh. old? Actually, how old? How old were the twins? I, like, I don't. I don't know. They. If they it was were, six years ago, if it was six, 
Six years it ago, is. then they would have been five. If it was seven, they would have been four. Are you kidding me? A four-year-old taking over the house duties? Are you kidding me? A five is a five-year-old any better? Much better. They start school at that age. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I seriously, you, you will notice the difference between how responsible kids get compared to how they're not when they're not in school. I, I, I would I would not say that you're you should be looking for realism in in terms of how people function in bleach when uh, one family can have five different hair colors within within two generations. That's yeah. that's a bit that's a bit too much. Even for me. You got you got you got uh, I still do wonder if Misaki and Yuzu are still that seem to have five different hair colors? Yeah, black, white, orange, uh, brown, and whatever Masaki was. Uh, like it was like a, it's like a it's sort of blondie. Who was white? Masaki was not white. Who? Uh, Yuzu is white. Remember, she has white hair. Since when? In the manga, she has white hair. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure she had white hair, in the manga. But... We need to look this up. Okay, carry on. Sorry. Anyway, um. See, we didn't even talk about this in the last podcast. See, but yeah, Wait, don't don't go all see on me. Like I'm just saying that we that we that right now we're blazing through. We we went into detail before because we're we're so tired. Yeah. But, uh, um, um, the future. What do you what are your no, thoughts? No, it's light brown uh, hair. She's light brown we've, hair. We've, we've called you out now. Sorry. I'll hail the chair. It's the foo foo right. man. Oh, sorry, I made a new new nickname. Thank you, for him. future. He's the foo foo man. Thank you, Future. Your contribution is valued as always. Also, this further proves You can't believe in the eyes in, believe in his chair. Believe in the chair that he's in the eyes in. (laughs) (laughs) You're really going to do that? Okay. Fine. Yeah, we're totally going to do that. But um... My chair is a chair that will pierce the heavens. (laughs) Giga chair breaker. (laughs) I'm a chair breaker. Um, Further proves that the the chair is strong ways they. When he was fighting Ichigo, he had to use the incantation to have a big, big spell. Try not to use euphemisms here. Um, a big one. Um, and now he had a big one without the incantation. So yeah, he's so the chair is totally like controlling him, and he doesn't know when it's going to be like Naraku, where it's like the chair is the real bad guy. Our chair logging. Yeah. Gurren Charon. But um. Go Mensa. Yeah. Yeah, but uh. So apparently the chair is the source of all power, just like Urahara's hat fuels his power with the power of darkness. Yeah, except when Ichigo does stuff to it. You know, that one time, and when then Urahara. The Urahara was so concerned that he said I have an entire arc just to repair it. Yeah. It, 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 it is a dangerous source. Anyway, uh, part three, and final part, uh, Aizen pulling down the, soul pa- the Soul King Palace because he's so cool. Thoughts? Why? How? How is this possible? Like, this is the guy that was like, ah. He he has more power and more concentrated power now, so he can do it. It's 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 magic, really. It's yeah, power. But, but I know, but it's just stupid. Power of bleach physics. Would you rather he uh he produce everything absolute, absolute zero and then uh somehow undo that? Well, magically? everything is trying to go to absolute zero. Isn't that the complete absence of all and every energy available? Yeah. So isn't that Juju Man's kind of? ability here he's no wait, no no he's he's not reducing like the temperature of the world to absolute zero he's destroying everything yeah that's what absolute ex, zero. Ex, you can't have absolute zero with matter existing ex, 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 presuming that that he's, that he's gonna die himself because i don't think he intends to die he's just gonna be like i'm alive which means that as long as he's alive which will be forever uh there's no absolute zero but how, how can he how can he exist though in a world that's destroyed the power the power he has the power oh, the of the almighty uh, I am Jesus. I am Jesus. 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 I am Jesus. I am I. Apparently, Jesus is in uh in Japanese is Iesu. 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 I did. I didn't actually know that. I'm actually reading the book. You know that book wrote in 1975 called Shogun. I had not heard of it. Oh, it's uh. I actually thought it was a recent book because my brother was telling me for ages to read it. It's um. It's about um the shogunate of the Tokuga- the finding of the Tokugawa shogunate, but everything is different in it. Like the, he's renamed everyone. Like uh-huh. the Tokugawa's are Toranagas, and the um. I think I'm annoying people because it's two a.m. I know your I know your stupid cousin. No, no, that's the Madre. Um, but um, what was I going to say? But uh, Toranaga and. 
Do you know how I actually just realized, when I actually realized that it was about them, is instead of Ishida, they used, because it's Mitsunari Ishida, not Uryu, obviously, they used uh -huh. Ishido, they were talking about one of the regions called Ishido, and I was like, hold on a wee second, if this is based in 1600, and one of the regions is called Ishido, that's Ishida, that's Mitsunari Ishida. And then I was like, oh my god, they've renamed all the characters. Oh my god, and look here. Do you, know what, do you know what they've renamed Muramasa, though? That's the one really annoyed me. It was like, you know, because Mur they've renamed him Murasama, and it's really annoying. <laughs> Murasama. Yeah, it's not just like Mura Lord. L L Lord Mura. Lord Genome. Yeah, it's kind of annoying, but it's it's okay. It's not it's not a bad book so far. It's not bad. Okay, well, uh... It's very Game of thrones uh, for uh, Shogun well, well, Future, what are your thoughts on Aizen pulling down the palace because he can? I would just find it hilarious if he just pulled Juju Man down and then in the face of all their opinions just play a children's card game. And just yeah. end we'll, it like we'll that. Well, settle this with Yu-Gi-Oh! And the loser is into the Shadow Realm. <laughs> A.K.A. where they are right now because uh, this sh Juju Man literally has a place called the Shadow Realm. Yeah, actually, on the topic of Yu-Gi-Oh, what is more believable? You're playing a kid's game, right? You're playing a card game. that You can't deny they're playing a card game. Like, card is game. it more believable that you just outright die, or is it more believable that you get sent to another realm? Since uh, yeah, they, that you die, because card games are serious business. Okay, have you not <laughs> seen the, the season of card games on motorcycles? <laughs> card games on motorcycles! On motorcycles! Oh, well, you, do a really, you do a really good um, impression of them. I, I can do... <laughs> Um, oh, what, is what that was the dubbed this? version of that Five Dragons? No, no, it, it's 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 the abridged version of that. I forget <laughs> what, his, what his name is, but he's he's the idiot and he's hilarious. <laughs> Card games on motorcycles. Okay, I haven't I, I seen could, that I, one. I would destroy my voice. Game. I don't know. I tried to watch the dubbed version of that one, and I just got really annoyed because in English it just sounds really stupid. It's like, what do you say? You say? <laughs> what do you say? You say? Because like they kept his name, so like yeah. in English. Yeah, it was like, what is it, you say? Yeah, I just find it really stupid, you know, because they're taunting each other. It's like time to taunt. <laughs> time to. <laughs> you know, like where it takes a whole episode, like for one move. <laughs> it's oh like, yeah. To do. Time to 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 taunt. Game da, on. Game. Jaden, jump. Sorry. I, I, are you trying to do the Space Jam theme? No, game on. Everybody game get game. up, it's time to slam now. Come on, Sam! I'm so proud of myself. So I, I, I actually, I, I, I've actually, I've actually well. seen the, um, the, hold on, hold on, while we're speaking of Space Jam and, uh, and Yu-Gi-Oh, there, there, I've actually heard a mashup of the two, and it's about as amazing as you'd think. Uh, it's called Barkleyo, as in Charles Barkley. Hold on, really quick. Who's Charles Barkley? Uh, he's, oh, I he's know, I know. Yeah, basketball. Oh yeah, he's the Sport. basketballer that like is now the commentator, and I didn't realize it was him until I heard his voice, and I was like, holy hell, he got fat. He got big. Like seriously, look him up now, he's big. I still love that opening. Would you believe that there's an entire subculture of videos on YouTube about mixing Space Jam theme with random songs, and then it works every time? I didn't Be know that. Space because Jam goes with everything. It is, it is amazing. 
I don't know <laughs> this Space Jam song. The only Space Jam song I know is I Believe I Can Fly. Pretty sure that's that one. Well, yeah, but like, <laughs> like, like, but like, but like, if you want, just, just, just to our audience, if you want to lose a good three hours of your day, just look up just a bunch of Space Jam remixes, listen to them, and, and then look at the comment section, which is all basketball puns. Like, oh no, I just lost a children's ball game, and believe in the heart of the dunk. Heart of the dunk. <laughs> yes. It's, you, you have no idea how ridiculous it gets. No, but you don't ruin It's Time to Duel. That's the most awesome part of that song. It's like... Do, do, they, do, they'll do, ruin, do, they even ruin, like, Duel the Fates. They turn into Slam in the Fates. And it's, and it's always, it's always amazing. Slam it, dunks it, on motorcycles! <laughs> yes, yes. So this dunks. is your culture, then. This is your culture. Bas Mixing. Oh, yes, and they, and they also did Let It Go. <laughs> oh, God, no, please don't link that. It's not one I want to watch. I'm not going to link it. I'm going to play it. Let it go. No, don't, please don't Let play it. Let it go. Can't hold me back at oops. That doesn't work. You have to realize that the, that the entire video for that fat song, it's literally raining basketballs. It is literally raining basketballs. Yes, the, the snowflakes are basketballs. Oh my and she, god. And she, and she makes a snowman uh, that looks like Charles Barkley, and she makes a, a basketball hoop. It's, it's so great. Oh my <laughs> god, like seriously. Oh my god. What do you Americans do with your lives, really? Uh, we do amazing- th we make the internet what it is with Space Jam remixes. Space Jam I, I, I'm so glad I, I managed to hijack a podcast about the spa about Space Jam. Yeah, I mean, earlier oh. I'm not allowed to hijack a podcast about Pokemon because we were trying to hijack Pokemon, but no, no, no. No, no, yeah. no we're, we're doing Space Jam. We get Space Jam and Disney remixes, okay. But, yeah, and anyway. <laughs> A while ago, we were talking uh, about Bleach. I, I, I wish someone would make a Bleach remix of Space Jam. <laughs> Why? What, what song would anyway. you have? Uh, probably number one, because it's already got the the rap thing going on. Oh, what's but, number one? I don't know what that one is. You know what? Now you feel like no Ichigo's theme song in the anime. No, the only song I can think of is the one Hold I on. really love. No, Hold it's on. fine. It's fine. It's fine. Really, no, no, no. It is fine. No, I, I'm I'm tired. It's uh, it's quarter past two, so that's uh, I I probably will remember it when I wake up. It's fine. It's all right. No, my favorite one is just um, what do you call that one? Um, you know, the is fighting one. Ichi goes. It's the one you use for the opening. <gasps> oh, that's got rap in it. Yes. It, well, not like rap, but it's it's got like like soul. It's like a now you. I feel like you could mix it easily with that's space jam. That's not rap. That is not rap. I'm am I'm, I'm just saying words, all right. I I actually I I had actually seen that. Like I was like Ichigo's theme. I was gonna say no, you're wrong, and then I went, oh holy shit, no, that's actually the song. And I like the part, you know. Yeah, I'm not saying it's rap, but like it, it, it's hip it's hip hop, and and technically Space Jam is hip hop in it too. So I'm saying it could it could mix easily. Probably. Could. But but yeah, uh, this, I uh, basically basically what I'm trying to say is. This chapter was uh, Space Jam. This chapter was Space Jam. Eis Eisen dunked the ball into the net and then brought the Soul Palace down. He's dunked the ball into the net. He he's going to face uh, Ju uh, Juhav Juhavag Barkley. Oh my god, I just realized how much that mix is. Doesn't Mimi Hagi's arm stretch up like Yeah, yeah Mimi Hagi was trying to dunk the ball, but Eisen intercepted. Eisen intercepted. Or not, no, sorry, Jujuman intercepted. 
do do when an intercept. And and and, he, and, he's, and now he's dribbling down to the to the Soul Palace, but Eisen ain't gonna take it standing down. Now now Eisen's gonna be there. Eisen's yeah. Eisen's come over. He's intercepted. Rebound. Yeah, I, Sorry. Yes, uh, it's sports ball. Yeah, woo. Get the points. Win the game. Uh, hold on, look. Sports. Sports is. I don't like sports. Is I do like sports. I don't like sports. Anyway. Uh, Where the so, hell did you go? I, I was opening the door for my cat, because she is bossy. Um, but anyway. Oh my god, you obey your cat? I was yes, because otherwise, otherwise, otherwise she, she claws my doors to shreds, and I don't like that. I don't like that. Don't claw oh. my poor little door to shreds. Yeah, my wooden door, which that she can tear through with her solid steel claws. Her solid steel, okay. Yes, she, she, she is a very hardcore cat. But, um, anyway... Uh, that has been the revised podcast for Chatter No, it hasn't been the revised podcast. We haven't even got it done yet. Well, like, we, I think we all went over, pretty, pretty sure all we, we all went over, um, our feelings. I don't on think we topic. went over everything, did we? Yeah, we did. We went to three parts. Just the chair. The, the shit, you, you know, we went over the shit talking, the, uh, the Kurosugi and the, the palace bringing down thereof. The bringing down thereof, the slam dunk. Yes, the, 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 this, 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 the, the ultimate dunk. That Aizen was does perform with the palace, so I, I'd say that's everything. That's everything. That's yeah. everything. What was it you said to watch? Sorry, I need to remember this. Um, the uh, you mean to the audience or you? Oh, on the topic of Ukutaka's Bankai, what I also said in the last podcast was I think they should do what Kishi did. Uh, I think, or at least I've heard a rumor that Kishi has like done his shipping and left it as that and as decided to leave it to the movies to show the romance the romance of those things building or, or whatever so i think we should see bang if any character has died before we've seen their parge we should have movies of their parge based on their part yeah but yeah. uh anyway um so i i think to reiterate watch kill a kill and grin logan because then you'll understand what me and future were meaning about earlier and, you know, uh, this is actually see see the the fact that we actually had to rehash the whole podcast. This is actually typical of my day. I got I got in a taxi, drove several miles to the farm that I went to today. I went to the farm with the kids. I'm really tired, although I'm more awake now than I was an hour ago. But um, drove to the farm with the kids today. Got there and realized as I was about to pay the taxi man that I didn't have my purse. Oh. I wanted to cry. I had to go the whole way back and the whole way back to the farm again. And pay for a double journey. I was like, no. <laughs> so this is so typical of my day, of the day that I've had so far. Oh, awful. Well, uh, yeah, them's yeah, breaks, I suppose. Them's the breaks. But yeah, with, no. With you, hmm? Sorry. With you, with you and your generally like painful life. Yeah. Yeah. So. Collapsing on the stairs last night. Yeah. Yeah. Car sleeping in dog beds. You know. Okay, right. I was drunk that time. Okay, I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> that time, not the other time. Not the other. Oh, right. Okay. Right. Right. For for a bit of background information, I was twenty. Had just l lost my granny, who was like the pinnacle of my life, and um, like the centerpiece of my life, and hadn't really got it out of my system yet. I was just basically what I did was the day after my granny was buried, I basically went and found a job and was like just working away because summer job was home from uni. And then we w I went out. We went down to my aunt's house for the weekend, and me and my cousin went out for a drink. And a drink. I had this thing, yeah, a drink. A drink just means generally I'm going to get pissed tonight. But okay. um, that's what it means in Ireland, okay? Don't know uh, what it means I, over I, there. I, I, I had a feeling because like whenever it's like, oh, I went out for a drink, it's like you're going, going, going come back shit faced, aren't you? Okay, you do well, realize over, we over Irish here. No, no, over here means the same thing, honestly. Yeah, do you actually know so, we we Irish um, people understand everything. I say, can you give me same work? And I was like, can you give me a wee password? Do you want to type in your wee address there? Do you want to do this? Your wee yeah, <laughs> everything wee is we, and it's like, oh, you're wee man, and it's like, and you wee... and the guy's like, I'm just so glad I don't have a complex, and I'm like, oh, but yeah, um, but as I was saying, right, so we went out for a drink. The intention was not to get shit faced, but it was to have a good night and obviously to come home probably with a hangover the next day. But um, what happened was when I was younger. I used to have a high level of tolerance for alcohol and um, and so I had challenged everyone to drinking games and I oh my God. always won. I won every Oh my game. god. Yeah. Um so what happened as well was the 
I didn't realize everyone was challenging me that night to drink games because I was still the reigning champion and I hadn't seen these people because uh, my aunt lives like about 30 miles away from us so it's like like a small town if you know what I mean so like there's people there that I haven't seen in a long while I used to have a caravan down there so I was down there a lot but obviously when I moved away to uni obviously my traveling was back to back to the city I lived in and not that town so I was down there and I was talking to people I hadn't seen and they're like yeah you're still the reigning champion of the drinking games now I went home still the reigning champion however I did not click on that people were challenging me over and over again and I was like hold on a wee second I've like had challenges from like 30 of you and there's only one of me I've had a shit ton of drink did not click on until I got home apparently I remember walking up the road I because my aunt lives on what used to be a farm so there's like a farm kind of lane you know like tractor crappy lane and um I walked up that road in high heels which is not easy sober um it's actually not easy walking up that road in flat shoes to be honest and what happened was I got in don't remember anything after that and apparently I crawled into <laughs> I took off my shoes because my aunt doesn't like you wear shoes in the house because as obviously she lives near farm doesn't want to get muck everywhere and her dog basket is right beside the door apparently the dog jumped on me and I decided yeah let's curl up in the dog basket together <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I fell. so I was in the dog basket and although I still maintain that I fell in there and then um yeah and that that night got a bit, little bit more crazy after that apparently <laughs> my mum was trying to shower me off you know like sober me up a little bit in the shower and apparently I escaped uh, <laughs> I just I just panic no at the thought of I don't know how many people see me naked that night so yeah well now now you know everyone moral stories never get drunk ever or no else it's not it's never get drunk that... just know your limits and realize when people are frigging pranking you Never got drunk. It's not worth the effort. Because they knew or, the thing the was is that they knew they wouldn't beat me, and then I was like, so they decided to prank me in a different way by basically them drinking wow, their singular drink and me going drinking every let's, drink. Let's give her alcohol poisoning. Yay. Yeah. No, it's all <laughs> right. No, well, it wasn't like they didn't give me it. It was like I accepted the challenges. I just didn't. I, I, I imagine you're pretty damn close to it. Yeah, probably. If you had thirty people challenging you. Yeah, actually, the next day we went to a rep we went we visited a reptile house and stuff. And we were well, it was actually a, a nature park. There's a reptile house in it, and we were visiting it. And during mid the presentation, there was like a staff door near where I was sitting. I had to run out and vomit in the field. <laughs> God damn it! Son. It was only water though. It was only water. It was one of them. Oh, yeah, right. it needed. Do you ever see whenever like if your stomach has been put a different way, and um. So it was like, yeah, some, sometimes something needs to come up before you can really settle. And it was, I did feel so much better afterwards, but I was just like, yeah, it was all only water, but it was just so funny. It was like oh. running towards the fence and then projectile vomiting all over the field, which Project I suppose is really good for the field, I guess, you know, in a, in a, in a middle oh, of a yeah. heat wave, it's very good for the field, but yeah, um, you know what I mean? I'm sure. Yeah. Right. Even though it's, it's disgusting for us. But then I then went home to my aunt's house after, after vomiting and lay down on the carpet like I was just like I'm so tired and just got lie down here, lay down on the carpet and the dog came in, and she must have thought it was really funny because she so sees me as this dominant female so she always like messes around with me when as soon as she sees me like oh my god oh <gasps> Sal what the hell oh Sal hang up on your phone what someone's calling who's who's it calling on um not me future is that you not me oh no oh. stop oh, so Hold so. on. Hold on. Was that you? My god. My god, son. I guess. I don't know why, but it was ringing for me as soon as Sal entered the call. I'm sorry. Right. Uh, Sal. Can you hear me? We can hear yeah. you. Sal, did okay, you hear yeah. about what we did? What? Uh, we we fucked up. Why? We... Uh, the, the recording we did for the first podcast uh, didn't happen. We, we did an hour long like talkathon and we weren't recording. We weren't recording. So now, so now we're redoing, but now we have you here, so it's okay. So it's okay. Oh, okay. So... Yo, yeah. So, so so okay, Mr. Sassy Black Man, what do you, what do you say? Oh, that's his new nickname for you, by the way. <laughs> Sassy. Sal, Sal sounds like Sassy. he's eating food. What are you eating? I'm not eating anything. You sound like you're right. rustling something. Are you? Have you got a package? He's wrestling a crocodile. Have you got shopping? No, I was 
clean, putting some away. Oh, he's on the phone. Oh yeah, he totally is. That's probably uh, why. Yeah, his, vo his voice is a bit different too. <clears throat> Hold on. In okay. the middle of a bit of cardio. Whoa, whoa. What? Well, we're, no, we're, I, welcome I... to our new episode of Through the Keyhole. This is South Park. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Catfish. Welcome to Catfish, indeed. <laughs> so no, I was um, I was just checking to see if y'all had jumped on at all and did anything, and then I saw Miss Call, and I was like, hmm, I wonder. It says join call. I said, okay. See, well, I think it might have been call instead of join call because it was calling me. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Like, well, now he's here, we can have uh, his. Hold on, I want to see if it's still chapter. ringing. Hold on, we'll check and see if it's still ringing because I literally muted it. Literally, oh, it, it has stopped. <laughs> it okay, has stopped. well. So, would you like to uh, give us your opinions on this chapter? Because we've already gone over it, um, but we haven't ended yet. We we have three parts. We have sass talk or shit talk, epic game. <laughs> then we yeah, have... the, the, the shit talking. Um. Then we have black coffee, in. and then we have um. The then we have space ice, jam. Space jam. Ice and bringing down the palace. Um, I neither, you know outright loved or outright disliked it, I thought it was okay. <laughs> Apathy is so much greater than yours. <laughs> yeah, that so much more oh, fast. Sal. So our fast little podcast, the end. Welcome, Sal. Bye, guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, um, I can actually give you a more detailed thing and uh, give me a minute or two. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> The truth is out there. You, 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 you missed the Space Jam, Sal. It's too bad. Right. Yeah, he actually uh, gave us two uh, recordings of a mixtape. No, two mixtapes right. of two recordings, yeah. that one. Well, what yeah, I'll see you on the set. <laughs> okay. Is that what were you saying? Uh, <laughs> no! you, 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 missed, you missed the Space Jam in here. Um, I, 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 you'll, you'll hear it if you listen to the... If you listen to the podcast when it's uploaded, but I played two Space Jam remixes on the podcast, and it was pretty great. Yeah, oh, okay. we're definitely recording. Yeah, so. Let it go. Now yeah. about this, um, this what you call it, uh, this chapter. Uh huh. Um. Okay. What 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 happened again? Um, Eisen. Uh, Eisen showed up. Ricky, Ranji, and then everyone else got really all up oh. in the grub. What uh? Oh, what grub. I. What Hopner grill? Is that a grill? Grill, not grill. Yeah, grill, not food. grub. <laughs> what I, what I disliked was the um, just the like you know, I I understand everybody was like supposed to be surprised, but what was actually said was just so stupid. Rukia like your eyes and duh, <laughs> like <laughs> duh. Why wouldn't you fucking? I mean, of course he's eyes and who else would he fucking be? Like, what are you stupid? Dio? <laughs> yeah, like. He's <laughs> Dio. You're Edward Elric. Like, no, it's eyes and like, come on. And, he's your Michael, um, you're Michael Jordan. What are you doing? That's here? just that, that's their problems with direct it's translations. Jordan. And my I'm issue here <laughs> with the the Ghost of Thirteen really just having such a big. Oh, you realize you're you're shaming all of us by you know using him, and it's just like okay, well. Let's let's look at the facts here. <laughs> you guys using you guys is not working. <laughs> like, wow, so you like, are way more animated than usual, Jesus you Christ. You know, fuck your pride. Uh, oh, you know, because like I don't know, all of existence is at stake here. Like, Y'all are so concerned about your hurt feelings that you're like, oh, fuck existence. You know, our feelings hurt. You would use our greatest enemy because you know. We, we, we can do this. All we got to do is try harder. Like, yeah, that's not working. <laughs> well, Sal, Jesus Christ, Sal, you are way more animated than usual. <laughs> yeah, usually it's the drop. Are, 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 you, are, you, are you, like, standing up right now? Is that why you're, you can be you're so, like, loud and, like... Are you, just, are you just back from the gym? Is that it? Or just back? Uh, We're still on yeah. adrenaline. I'm driving home, and I just went to see Furious 7, so... <laughs> oh, okay, because... Because, because like, literally, usually when you're talking, you're like, well, here's what I thought. Fuck this guy. We're like, no, fuck this guy! Jesus Christ! Well, yeah, your feelings are all hurt. We don't give a shit. But it's, yeah, it's, just, 
fuck I'm like, shit. look, fuck I mean, I think, every, I think after all this time, everybody knows my general feelings about this arc, but after, I mean, this arc is pretty much the end. Like, at this point in time, does do we really need this stupid type of dialogue? I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is just, it's just like, you're not even trying at this point. It's like, oh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna phone it in until, you know, our, 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 everybody's mind blows up. Like, come on. <laughs> you know, they, they could have did a lot better in in that respect, I think. But as far as, like, you know, that is concerned. And then, of course, I had a little bit of an issue with with um, Shansui's, you know, m- management style. Put it, let's let's say that. Now, I understand he's he doesn't have to be author- authoritarian like Yamamoto and everything like that. That's not necessary. He is his own person. You know, he can manage the way he wants to. My biggest issue was... You know, I'm sitting there thinking like Yamamoto never would never get this much lip from a decision that he made from the from the rest of everybody else. And it's just like I understand he's new in the position and all that other stuff. And yeah, I haven't agreed with every you know decision that he's made, especially the Unhana one. We're not gonna get in that one though. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! no, no. <laughs> but my issue is, is like he was just very laissez-faire about it, and you know, like I said, you know, earlier when in, when they did it, you know, my thing would have been like, well, number one, we're not equals. I'm the captain commander, so y'all can just shut the fuck up and sit down. <laughs> like, I don't really care what y'all have to say. You know, I think I really think he should have just started rele- yeah. releasing some retsu until they were on their fucking knees. <laughs> Like, okay, you know, because... Great, Sal, I'm sure that's a great idea. Because it's bad enough when the captains do it, but when you have Renji and Rukia and, and Hasagi talking about, oh, did you bump your head and all this, <laughs> talking all this mad shit, I'm like, yo, y'all are fucking lonely peons at this point, like, who the fuck are you talking to? <laughs> it's like, like, see, I, I, say, I said, see, this is exactly what's going on. All this, you know... Yeah, head-to-head fighting and genocide and, you know, uh, world-shaking situations happening, death of the Soul King and all this other stuff. This is making people's mind go crazy because now they're just talking with all this reckless and abandonment. And, you know, <laughs> because they <laughs> figure, oh, we're going to die anyway. We don't have any consequences or repercussions to what we do. So <laughs> it's just so like, uh, yeah. Fuck you, Shun Sui. Yeah, yeah, so it's just like, and he was just like, well, but... I do like the way that he basically shut their asses up with complete and total utter utter logic, and then yeah, they had yeah. nothing to say. Oh well, well like, Biakia had something to say after that. Biakia was like, mm. yeah, he had something to say, which was, "You're insulting our feelings." <laughs> He's like, "Yeah, well." Spit of our bride, man. And yeah, then the, his the most annoying right, Biakia. Our feelings. Moment. Yeah, his response was, "Oh well, then I guess y'all kick my ass later." Yeah, like that's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, come at me, bitches. Yeah, you know, yeah. you know, Sass is going down when Byaku says something because yeah, usually so, when Yamamoto said anything, yeah, he's the only I, I, one to I shut love up. The, I love the verbal beatdown he gave him. Like, bitch, we we need eat, we need whatever we can get. So shut up. Yeah, like it, it was just so. It's just a stupid. It's a stupid. Like, oh, oh, you're you're insulting our pride. Oh, is that what's important here? Like <laughs> your pride. Get okay. Yeah, yeah. World's well, coming down around us, but you keep your pride. That that's the. Why, will, yeah. why don't we just sit around? You know, hold hands, sing kumbaya, and hope everything goes well. <laughs> Like that's, we'll do it that way. Yeah. We're gonna All trust right. in the we're gonna trust in the power of friendship in the heart of the cards and each you go. <laughs> like that shit was so the, stupid. The heart of the dunk. Leave yeah, and then you know, but I di- what I did like Im- amazingly enough is Eisen is showing some. I probably I would probably say the best use of Retsu manipulation that we have seen in a long, long time in Bleach. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. We've never, I mean, we've seen it before, but not at the level that he's utilizing it. We've seen it, you know, have an effect on somebody's uh, physically, Mm -hmm. you know. Yamamoto and Nana. Yeah, Yamamoto and and stuff like that. We've seen, um, we've seen it intimidate from a distance, what Kenpachi used to do and stuff like that. We've, We've seen it, but we've never seen it actively used in this way, you know, strong enough to dag and destroy something or bring something down. And it's so interesting because, you know, the biggest issue I think a lot of people had was they were thinking, oh, Aizen's so powerful and da 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 And yes, he's powerful, but what's interesting is as powerful as he is, even without the Zanpakuto, as powerful as he is, he is still 
limited and restricted. He's in this chair that he can't get out of, and <laughs> he's got, and he's wrapped up in seals that he can't get out of, and you know, so it, there is increasing limits to his abilities. I mean, he's able to use that level. 90 keto without incantation out of that going amazing, you know, level without even, you know, uh, trying. And even at that, and mind you, 99% of his body is still bound and sealed. Mm -hmm. So that's saying a lot, you know, and they comment on his power getting stronger while he was locked up in there and everything like that. It's the chair. It, you know, and the chair being pretty much indestructible, but it also shows yeah. that Mukin is very very uh, effective at holding even somebody of his power. Yeah. Yep. So I mean, even he can't get out of it without them unlocking these seals. So, you know, um, I thought that was very interesting and, uh, you know, the fact that, you know, it's obvious there's, you know, going to be manipulation on Aizen's part because that's just who he, who he is. And of course, you know, Shun Sui and probably the rest of them are smart enough to know that you know, he's not helping them out the goodness of his heart. He's trying to get, oh, yeah. some, get away is with there, something. Is there but... goodness in his heart? I'm not sure. <laughs> he, he wants to make sure, sure there's still a world for him to take over at the end yeah. of all this. Yeah. But I also think that as far as his manipulation schemes go, like, just like Yorohara pretty much found out in this, this these past chapters, that what is going on is a little bit beyond his understanding. You know, Yorohara is pretty much science-oriented. Um, this whole... Mimi Hagi, right hand god, you know, soul king situation is a little bit out of his uh, area. Comfort zone, yeah. Yeah, it's out of his area. It's not really something that he's used to dealing with. Miyori is not something to deal with. And, you know, Aizen, you know, he's intelligent and he's manipulative, but once again, there are things way beyond his understanding. Yeah. Um, we, we kind of figured that out when he went around trying to make in this key, you know, which is the token <laughs> or whatever, to get to the thing, thing. And I don't know if he even truly understood that what he was trying to do was create a person. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you know, it, 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 and, then, and then, of course, even if he did realize something of that nature and stuff like that, I don't know that he would understand what he was getting into trying to go to the Soul King Palace. And I, I would dare say he, he you know, as powerful as he is, he was, or whatever. I don't, I don't think he would have gotten past the royal guard at all. But um, not at the city was in it originally. No, I don't think. So. No, not, not, not Ichibe and his fucking. I mean, uh, even with Ichiban the whole Goku giving him all those transformations, Ichigo barely did anything, and that's with, you know, his, his, non Zanpakuto and all that other stuff, like. If Ichibe and them, yeah, he he wouldn't have been able to. Ich get, I mean, Ichibe would have changed his name to Hanaro Yamada. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, much like no. if. I mean, I think we all can agree after having read the story that you know, if it wasn't for the Bach cheat codes, you know, the royal the royal guard and probably Bach himself would have been done for. Oh yeah, but, totally. Yeah, I, so, I agree. With you. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, I didn't dislike it at all. Like I have a couple of other chapters, and I. I wasn't like, oh my god, this is the greatest chapter ever, but, you know, it was, a, it was a decent chapter, I thought. Yeah, not a lot happened, it was a lot of talking. Actually, here, this is one thing I actually enjoyed about the chapter. Did you actually notice that Aizen was congratulating Rukia and going, oh, oh they're yeah. finally recognizing your abilities? Oh, I, yeah. I'm still, like, going, is he doing it sardonically, or is he actually saying, yeah, you're actually quite good, but, you know, I'm, you had I'm to die. I'm surprised they didn't. They didn't show Momo at all. Yeah, no, I, was, don't even... I thought it would have been an awesome character development moment if he said something to Momo and she's like, Aizen. Doesn't even call him Captain or anything like that, just Aizen or whatever. Aizen, <laughs> shut like, up. Shut give up. him a cold shoulder or some shit or whatever. Pretty much showing that her character has moved on past him and his bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> see, see, seriously, if we see Momo and she's in the corner sweating, it'll be like, ugh. Um, uh, but... Actually, Aizen generally, when he's like talking to his opponents, he kind of wavers back and forth between like sarcastic and like genuine. I think yeah. he was genuine about about Rukia being promoted because he's like, oh, I'm, I recognize your efforts during our little war and how you like helped rescue Orihime and stuff. So I'm glad you got promoted. Uh, yeah. He was more sarcastic like later on in the chapter when he was like, oh, I couldn't possibly do anything while I'm bound in sales. Like, fuck you, Aizen. You know you can do what you want. I know. You're you're just no, 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 no. It was bitch. It was like bitches move. move. Which, which also brought up another point. I was like, 
I'm like, wait a minute, how did Shinsui know that he was going to... <laughs> he I, 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 I think he just felt it in the air. He was like, oh shit, something's happening. It's, yeah. I, 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 I feel we're out to being concentrated. Everyone get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, I think he would probably know that sort of shit, you know. And also, also because because he realizes that like Kurosugi is kind of like Eisen's signature thing, so he's like, oh, if he's bound, to, if he's if he can't use Zanbakuto and he can't move, what else does he have but Kido? And if he's using Kido, the one he usually use, and oh shit, you know. Yeah, I think Kubo wanted to give him a final black coffin moment, like oh, he needs a final. There's gonna be at least five oh. more. I I promise you. Well, he's only now... done three. In relation to that, you said last week we didn't record anything. Thank you, son. And, um... <laughs> what? No, 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 no. We didn't record anything tonight. We actually had one before you were on. We had a full... Uh... We had a full R recorded yeah, yeah, and no, then it no, deleted. No, we have a 621. Don't worry. Oh, no, 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 no. Last week's podcast was up and we had a wee Easter egg yeah. in it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I've got that one prepared sense. for this week. Um... Yeah. No, this is our second of the night. Basically. Yes. <laughs> this is yeah. this is the type of day I've had. I got I, I got a taxi to the to the farm, which was miles away. Got there, realized shit, I'd have no purse. Had to go the whole way back home in the taxi and the whole way back to the farm again because the kids were already really excited about going to the farm. So, it's typical of my day. And yesterday I collapsed, on, I collapsed, and yeah, it's typical of my weekend at the moment. Yeah. Yep. 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 Uh, Sorry. Well, yep, yep, yep. By, I say this is by far the better of the two because we have Sal in here and he's hilarious. Yeah, but, that uh, was that was quite funny. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was because we were so kind of like, yeah, we have said this before. And then yeah. we got Sal coming in with "fuck you, I said fuck you, Shunsui, fuck all you Shinigami. This is what this is what the rule is. This is yeah. what the law is." <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was I was thinking in this particular situation, considering what is going on. And that nobody really has an actual plan. The actual plan, essentially, and when you think about it, you're like, oh, wait a minute, they had a plan. Well, no, the actual plan was open up a door, get to the Soul Palace, and then, <laughs> like, nobody had anything after that. Tell, <laughs> tell, after that. tell Dujaman to, to stop politely. Yeah, I like, know. I actually ask said... Him, ask him pretty please. I actually <laughs> said the last few chapters, like, when it comes to the Gotai 13, have been very like a supernatural episode like a supernatural kind of the tv series where it's like they always have a plan and then they have plan b and it was like basically they went for ages telling us what their plan was like oh we're going to do this we're going to open the door and then we're going to do this and we're going to spill this on the ground enough? and we're going to think and then we've opened the door and stuff and then it was like no no i sincere no plan b no. <laughs> plan b plan parenthood yeah basically <laughs> yeah i don't i don't know i don't i didn't care too much for the way that that was organized because it was just like there are serious situations going on and y'all are talking about hurt feelings like <laughs> yeah I, mean, I can only imagine how many times Yamamoto and all his daggone years hurt your feelings yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, <laughs> you're like th th thank you Yamamoto for hearing my feelings <laughs> yeah it didn't I actually think Yamamoto gave him a bigger burn during the all you per people making me get involved and stuff, you know, against oh, yeah. Ion. I'm pretty sure that was a bigger burden than Aizen ever gave Hasagi for free sake. Well, when you have somebody whose Shikai is enough to destroy like, everybody, then <laughs> everybody. maybe maybe you probably just give him you know, a little leeway. I think everybody's like, oh, we can just talk how we want to, Shensui, because it, it'll take a while for his Zanpakuto to wake up anyway. Yeah, <laughs> and, and uh, is just, and Ishikai is children's card games. I mean, what's the what's the harm in that? Well, let, well, let's, well let's do, well, let's recognize the fact that the first fight we've seen Shunsui in the middle of, he did get hit and beat the slap, like, slapped about for a second by his own lieutenant. Like, yeah. she was like, yeah, pff, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he allows well, that. He allows yeah, that situation. Yeah, yeah. With Lisa and, 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 and he allows and talk back. like, whatever. With Lisa yeah, and now it's like whatever. Yeah. He's but, like um, the easiest deck on the head of a deck on armed forces that you ever probably see. Oh, I allow my talk. I allow I allow my subordinates to just talk to me any type of way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really maybe. Uh, my authority. May <laughs> oh yeah. May may maybe he's 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 a he's, he he. he He's a fifth game called Yugi Oni, where he plays a children's card game with his opponent and loses against into the Shadow Realm. Shadow Realm. Now that would be hilarious, and that's why they—that's why they're talking shit to him because they play, play, plays children's card games for uh, for fun. 
What yeah, I they... now, what I hope to see out of this arc is uh-huh. obviously Shinsui is going to have to fight somebody, and uh, it seems that him and Hatchwolf have unfinished business. Oh, totally. So I think uh, that if anything, you know, we shouldn't get gypped again, and we should be oh, able please. to see his bankai and I, all I... of its horrifying reality bending oh, yeah. glory, because that's the only way that could possibly go. It, it, it's <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh. It, it's it's literally just Yu-Gi-Oh. That's what his bankai is, Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> He's but, like, my, my Zanpak toe turns into the day on Millennium Pyramid. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, do, do you all I, realize I we have... Blue Eyes White Dragon. Blue Poops yeah. White Dragon. Do you all realize but, uh, in the room so. we have, like, the three guys that are considered the smartest? We have Aizen, Miyuri, I, and Urahara. I want to get some bitch slappers from them, you know, like, I'm smarter than you. Hell no. Mm-mm-mm. Bitch. Uh... I, I, Kubo did promise to show, show these Bankai, unlike we were talking about Bankai, so I do think we're going to see it. And, and I, I think in the same fight, we're probably going to get the history behind his flowery kimono, because that's, that probably has nothing to do with Senjimaru. Yeah, remember. he cares more about that, doesn't he? It's cheap. Yeah, well, like, well, he's in, well, like, he hasn't had the same one, actually. He hasn't, hasn't he not? I'm pretty what? sure it was different. Wait, what? Wasn't, it, wasn't his kimono different in the. In the hundred years ago, Mark? Uh, maybe, maybe. I don't know, but like. I don't think he had it. Or maybe he did. I don't know. I think the most expensive piece of his body is the hair piece that he has, right? Piece of his body. That's piece. That's be a. That's be a Oh yeah. No, 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 no. I'm talking about. Oh, that's not good. the hair piece. That was his scarf. Yeah. No, no. I know his scarf. Entrance. I'm not on about that. I'm on about who is it? Who is it? Shinsui. Shinsui. Oh yeah. no. I think that I think the kimono has some type of sentimental. Yeah. Or, other to him. or it's just Bankai all along. It's just Bankai. A co- the whole time. Uh, yeah, a, a flowery coat. Yeah. yeah. He, he's been wearing his Bankai all along. You don't. <laughs> now, you, don't you do realize we had a we had a bloody well bodyguard with a flowery body sandbox too as well. Now I do recall somebody saying earlier in the week something about a trivia contest. <laughs> that was Kami. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What the? I don't know. I, I mean, do you really want to do a trivia contest with me in it? Because no, yeah, no, 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 Sal's gonna win. He has years. like. He might as well just give me the award now. <laughs> yeah, he, he has like an Ida. He has like an Ida memory when it comes to this series and everything else ever. I get that. What I think what they meant is what I think what he meant is for the users, the listeners. Oh, nobody cares. They don't know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was that we lost all our subscribers on YouTube. Thanks, Sal. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something that is a fact. Yes, yeah, there we go. It says his pinwheel, her pins are very Most expensive. Most of the people that come to our site come to the site so they can talk on the blogs about irrelevant stuff. They don't come on the site to actually <laughs> read the information. Because if, if they did, all of the bleach answers and all of the blogs wouldn't be filled with people asking questions that are already been determined in the content of the series and in full view on each and every daggone page. <laughs> so, yeah, well, what's my favorite one? Could that they don't read Chiba. any of that stuff, which means how in the world are they going to answer those questions? I'm sorry, seriously, how do we need a multiple response to could Kai and Shiba be Ichigo reincarnated? No. Simple answer. Reason? Did I close that? He's, he's old. Yeah, you did. That's yeah, what I'm saying. That's my favorite it. one. Could Kai and Chiba be Ichigo reincarnated? No. And what why? Because Ichigo what I was said. born Could Kai and be Ichigo reincarnated? Are you sure you're worrying that correctly? Yeah, Did he that, reincarnate that, 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 through time? That's what that's what they actually wrote. And my, I, 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 want, I wanted to reply is, with no, is, because Kai is a lot die? older than Ichigo. Does, does Ichigo die at the end of the series and then is, he gets reincarnated to Kai and, uh, through time? I hope so. That'd be hilarious. I know, it's like, no, Shifu actually replied, like, like they look so similar, da 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 and you feel like just replying, oh, wait, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Kayan all, is a lot older. First of all, that was never a plot device. What it was, was Kayan and, Sh- Kayan and Ichigo look alike, look the same, and stuff like that, and then you find out later on, the reason why they look the same is because they are fucking related, not because he's a reincarnation. That's not even brought up in the mm-hmm. storyline, it's not backed by anything, and... What purpose would it serve? What exactly would you get out of uh, of that being true? Wouldn't that you be know, really creepy if you had like a family member reincarnated as your child? <laughs> I, uh, I I still, I still, I still, honestly that's bad. But I think was, I think the worst one we ever had was the guy who was claiming that like um, Call of Duty influenced Bleach in its <laughs> final arc because it, because it is it is not it is Nazi like 
So I think the re the reason the reasoning was as it goes. Okay, so that, Call of Call wait, 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 Duty, not World War Two. Not World War Two. Not World War Two. Sal, Sal, So here, here was the reasoning, as I recall it. So Ichigo has two swords. One was like a Bowie knife. A Bowie knife was using Call of Duty to kill Nazi zombies. The <laughs> Nazi zombies are the Bonin right because they because they like they like the Nazis and they conquer territories and. I don't fucking know. It was so stupid. I almost killed myself. Yeah, that there's what he said. It was it was Call of Duty and not World War Two, which Call of Duty was based on, is what he said. Yeah, Call of Duty influenced. The, yeah, I think that, I think so, honestly yeah, that Call of Duty that influenced it, and not World War Two at all. Not nothing in yeah. real life, just the video. Yeah, game. <laughs> honestly, Sal, like honestly, like I think I think it's worse than like saying because that's like saying like a fucking stupid video game influenced a, a, a manga about like Japanese history and culture and shit. Jesus Christ. What's sad is this is the state of our world now. <laughs> That's All right, sad. time to kill some people. <laughs> yeah. Like, like how do you even respond to something like that? And this is why, you know, this is why I don't normally go on blogs. Because the, the I mean, look, if you don't understand something, you don't know something, maybe you didn't read the manga, maybe you read the anime, I mean, watched the anime, maybe you started reading the manga but only at a certain part, so you may have missed something. But the thing is, all that information is already included on the Dagon site. Reference information. You can read it, and then you say, hmm, let me go look at this reference. Okay, I'll pull up the, you know, the, the scan or, you know, take out the, the, the manga, you know, book that I have of it and go to that, that chapter or that page or whatever and, you know, read it so I can find out what's going on so I can corroborate that what is being, what is printed here is actually what happened. That's all you have to do. But no. It's not even that. It's not even like, mm, let me go and read this. It's like, let me ask a question <laughs> instead of reading. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, so well, here, well, here's like, the latest question on answers. How can Yuak or Bok or Juju Man die if he can see the future? What the <laughs> hell does that, what does that have to do with anything? It doesn't what does that have correlate to do with at anything? all. What, how is those things kind of interconnected? That's like... How how can I you know you know how can I uh you know walk down the street if I have wings? What? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't, one doesn't have anything to do with the other. There is no correlation there. If he can see the future, that is entirely different from how he can die. Speaking of Bach, do you remember the guy who was like maybe Bach is? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before you get into that zeal, I'm gonna answer that stupid ass question. <laughs> Now, read it off again, son. How can Yuwak or Jubak, Juhubak, die if he can see the future? <laughs> he can die because the future is always changing. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the guy on one of my blogs who was like, maybe Buck isn't a Quincy. And then you were, and then that, that was so stupid that even you got involved. And he was like, no, oh, it's my opinion. Don't, don't counter me. Jesus Christ. And that was, that was so bad. Your problem is your opinion is not based on anything, especially considering, oh, I don't know. Um, I don't know how many people, people called him the father of the fucking Quincy. <laughs> <laughs> Created the Quincy. Like, yeah. I don't... He's using Quincy powers. He's the emperor of the Van Dyke. He's the father of the Quincy. Multiple daggone times. Like, he's not a Shinigami. He's not a Hollow. He's not a daggone freaking soul. You know, like, this is just stupid asinine. And if you don't want your daggone freaking opinion to be questioned, maybe you should come with some facts. Here's oh, another shit. one. Is Yushiro Shihoin the younger or older brother of Yoroichi? That's the kind of questions <laughs> we get. Really? Okay. Uh, really? They, 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 no, really? They're, 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 well, who looks older? There's, there's That's no the excuse question. for that. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. Even if, even if we weren't going to go by who looks older... She was the head of the Shiloh family before him. That means she's the older one, you dumbass. Next. <laughs> I, I, think, I think they, no, 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 no. I, I think they outright stated that he was the younger one. Like, I I think they outright stated he was the younger one, like, in the chapter. Doesn't so. you yeah, call yeah, her, like, yeah. Sis it's, or something? Yeah, Sui Fang was like, oh, you already saw my younger brother. Here's a pocket change. <laughs> yeah, like, what type of, like, first of all, first of all, I don't care what culture you're in, whether it's you, I mean, and son, you can back me up on this because mm. you know full and full full well. Son, you are from Northern Ireland, which is part of the UK, and, and so you may you know, it may not happen in, in, in Northern Ireland, but it does happen in the UK. Have you ever heard an instance of when in a noble family, the daggone youngest son 
Dagon become is, is, is gets every Dagon thing over the older son. No. No, it doesn't happen. So of course, if the oldest person, depending well, on, on unless how you're, they're unless, mentally challenged, that happens. well, yes, unless you're mentally challenged, but it also depends on the uh, uh, the the succession rules, which in the UK the succession rules are males before females. Males before females and females only in the time of when. Yeah. Yeah. You know, males before females. So if Queen Elizabeth had a younger brother, he would be king and she wouldn't be queen. Yeah. But she but, had a younger sister, so yeah. But especially so in the Japanese culture, Japanese. males always before females. Mm hmm. But yeah, because they're they're having an argument at the minute with the emperor, well, over the yeah, emperor, no, no, because no, 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 no. The, no, 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 I'm saying the first heir, the first, the the crown yeah, prince of Japan has only daughters, cool. so they're trying to change that. No, they people. they wanted to change it, but they changed their mind because his younger brother had a son. Yeah. So totally they unfair. Said, okay. <laughs> but, emperor, no. but that's just a little history lesson, and you know what? I don't really mean to be so fucking mean to dag on people, but come on, that's a dumb question. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. really, Christ. really, I don't mean to bite no. people's head off for asking a question, but it's in the content of the story. You can literally read when they say, oh, you're Yorichi's younger brother. <laughs> like, I don't yeah, yeah, right. how you can, like, ask a question. Like, it's like you're not even, you obviously know that Yorichi has a younger brother, but you didn't pay any attention to any of the content surrounding it. <laughs> like, I don't understand. It's like, I'm looking be? at the pictures and not reading. <laughs> like, oh, Yorichi has a brother. Hmm, wonder if he's younger or older than her. Like, come on. What's the next yeah. question? <laughs> next question? Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh. Are, are we doing this? Are we doing a, qu a questions well, we round might, where we, we, we ridicule well. everyone on answers? Okay, we cool. Might do well. it. Oh, this here one is a part of the question. Head Captain Yamamoto's partner. That's just a question. Uh, you mean Sasakibe? Next question. Jesus yeah, Christ. yeah, yeah, but that, that was a question. It's that on was... the freaking page. You can, yeah, uh... I know, right. Yeah, see. He died. He, it's kind of important. He died. Hold on. Let me see. Hold on. I'll see if I have an unanswered questions section. Let me see. Because there was one. What episode do you see Byaku as a teen? I don't know why people watch things just to see this person as. Wait, 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 wait. Is this the same question where everybody keeps asking when who who's the person who who first saw uh Bi Oh Senke? God, Senke. Like, Oh Jesus. Oh, God, that question alone. That question has been answered to death. Nobody knows the answer to that question. <laughs> All he said was that you're you're the only first that you, that you know anyone else, right? Oh, oh, hold on. There's a question on Bleach Answers that actually says, "What is the Beast Realm?" It, it's a Buddhism Next. thing. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I, I, I can answer that honestly. Uh, the I, I presume they're referring to the place where Kamara and his clan were sent. The animal realm is a thing in Buddhism. Um. It, I don't. It, I I am not like super well versed in it to explain it, but it has to do with um, like impurity of the soul, and it, it's kind of like a punishment thing. Like so. So what has this got to do with bleach? Uh, because there's a lot of Buddhism stuff in bleach. Like Mukin is another um is is one of the Buddhist hells, and that's where Eisen was sent. It's like the deepest and like most severe hell of them all. That's where Eisen went. Um, but it's not uh, to do with bleach. No, it, no. It, well, is there a beach? Is there a beast realm in bleach? Apparently, for that, I'm just saying that's where it's based in. It, it, it's a Buddhism thing that no. Kubo what he's talking about story. is when Komamura was relaying the history of his clan. That's apparently what they were sentenced to is this yeah. beast realm or something yeah. like that. And, it and has not to answer that question. Like to go off on more what what Zil was saying. To answer that question is basically uh, we don't have any real information about where that is or how it ties into soul society and everything like that um apparently there's some connected but it's one of those things where somebody where the author will create something and not really elaborate on it because it's not really that important yeah yeah like a lot of things <laughs> like pretty much like everything i guess i don't know <laughs> <laughs> everything in the series nothing's elaborated on not in the main character Ooh. Oh, so what else you got? <laughs> uh, no, I don't know. Um, um, there's someone has asked. Eh, oh no, what does Ichibei's control over all the darkness in the world have to do with his bank? His shikai, sorry, his shikai. Oh like, my that's his god! Abilities. Nobody. <laughs> See, this is, what, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about right here. 
did he not say? Look, look, he's walking around with a damn giant freaking pen. <laughs> <laughs> A it's the fucking pen. A. I don't. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> and no, so, it's like that is his abilities. That's what he so says. His abilities eventually, is. eventually, you're gonna be too mad to even say anything. You're gonna be like, next question, next question. <laughs> I can't even talk anymore. Like, no, it's, it's it's so stupid because it's not like he did not explain that. Yeah, and it's not like it's not in the <laughs> articles. He explained that specifically. Like I don't. I don't understand how you couldn't pick that up. The I darkness know. is representative of the ink that he uses in... I don't... Next question. <laughs> uh, I think there's one more unanswered question. What example... Oh, God, I hate these ones. What examples of symbolism has Kubo used and presumably continues to use in Bleach? All Asian ones, next. <laughs> <laughs> I made a post Nazis, on a while ago, but that's... Yeah, Nazis... Heil Hitler. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. continued yeah. to use, you know, Nazi words, but not really their symbols besides... Uh, yeah, not really their symbols, no. Yeah. But the, those it. are the unanswered questions. What are well, the answered... What are the answer ones? Because I know that there were ones where they no, really... There's, there's a lot of bad ones. Like for, Oh, oh yeah. Oh, please do. Please do. Okay, so, let's hit random peers. If you, if you, if you turn on the, t if you turn on the TV and find that, like, the East Coast of, of America has burned into flames, that's just my Ritsu. <laughs> so... That's your Ritsu. Okay, okay. Then. What is the life expect... What is the life expectancy for Shinigami and the Hollow Aranka? Five minutes. Next, please. <gasps> oh, it's like, oh my god, who knows this? It's of like... life expectancy. Well, Yamamoto was well over 2,000 years old, so... Possibly well, that. Yeah. Possibly Infinite. that, yeah. I Infinity. suppose that's the lifespan, or like, maximum lifespan, I get. But life expectancy, isn't that usually the, like, average of how many people kind of lived a certain age? Well, look, it, it's obvious that longevity is a part of being a Shinigami. The downside to that is the question is whether or not you're going to be able to live that long because your job is a high-risk job with lots of danger and you can die. Now, as far as whether on a Rancor or a Hollow, their life expectancy is far even lower because they're cannibals on each other. So, here's your answer to that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we should totally make, like, we, like segment on this and like kind of just i'll upload like random parts of questions <laughs> yeah you don't have to include all of this in the in the in the what you call it but you can you can release parts of them so you know yeah what you <laughs> well if attacking a captain is considered a crime then why he or he didn't bear the consequences of constantly constantly kicking and punching earl hara <laughs> because, <laughs> and of, because that wasn't serious they're talking oh, that, about that was like life threatening. Yeah, we're ta we're talking about you know actual you know trying to kill somebody. She was just being you know like, being out of hand and stuff like that. She was just acting out. Yeah, like like like, like like her like her foot wasn't like piercing the heavens. It was just kicking and punching. <laughs> it, it was a very comical at the least. Yeah, and, I, and also Urhar had balls of steel, so you didn't even care. She's not going to do any lasting damage to any of them, I don't think, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, are, you, are you finally home, Sal? Mm-hmm. Were you driving on your own, or was the, were yeah. there people with you? Oh, yeah. I, hope, I hope there was someone with them. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> Just hear uh, him yelling, yelling, yelling about fucking Aizen, his fucking users, fucking shit. <laughs> no, I was all by my lonesome. <laughs> Why... Here's another one. Why, even though he was in his full resurrection state, did Yami use the basic zero and not the Espada specific black zero? Wait a minute, who? Yami. 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 He's, talking about the, he's, he's talking about the Sarah Skiris thing. Oh, that's because Yami's a big asshole. Like, he's stupid. <laughs> yeah, Yami's the stupidest character in the entire series. Honestly. Yami hasn't got much control over anything. That's why yeah, he, any, any, any fine tuned capabilities he's, he's that got, he has. Power, but not control. So he's like Bleach's version of the Hulk. <laughs> that, yeah, no, he's exactly like the Hulk, except slightly. He's basically the Hulk. Yeah. Except, except in his base form, he's on. He's not like a fucking nuclear scientist. Pretty much. So <laughs> you know, in, in in his base form, he's the Hulk without all the strength. Yeah. <laughs> oh, some of these are. Jesus Christ. Um. Well, 
Do, are we going to do more questions or should we end it off here? Should we do more questions or should we do it another time for questions like tomorrow? I, I, I think we should save it for like maybe next pod. Maybe like every podcast we, we do some more questions just to yell at people. Yeah. Uh, I think that would be amusing. True. Or Actually, we can do one more question. He uh, wants uh, another what? question. What? Yeah, he, he, want, he wants to rage more. He wants to feel it. He wants to really feel it. Right, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm doing random pages here, but some of them aren't. Oh my god, so, why, would, right, why would someone the... actually ask for characters whose birthdays in August? Why would you ask that? Why would you want to care? Like, oh. Like, someone asked for a list of people whose birthdays in August. Like, how long would that take to answer? Like, going around and finding everyone in August. I'm not doing it. <laughs> the fact that I, I am doing it. <laughs> The fact that Kugo has a full brain means that he has hollow powers, so does that mean he is, that it is, is some kind of Vizord too? Vizord? <laughs> they wrote it like okay, that, wait, they wait, 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 wait. <laughs> they, they did. They'd read it like that, they wrote it really badly. <laughs> okay, well Vizord. the thing, my issue here is I do not like the char character of Kugo based on the fact that it was like I. It was like the worst rush job you could possibly think. It was like let's give this guy this, that, and the other thing without any real explanation on his abilities or how he got what he got. But it, he was such a significant, important point to the daggone backstory. To you know the 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 freaking position of the substitute Shinigami. But in the end, it just became an entirely irrelevant so they give him the full bring and then apparently he once was a shinigami but maybe not because they really don't go into that at all but he was a substitute shinigami so i guess he must have been but then they're saying he stole his powers as opposed to whatever ichigo had going on and then then he uses his abilities to steal ichigo's full bring so all of all in all all we see is full bring and you know, apparently a Bankai out of nowhere. Maybe a Saro. <laughs> Maybe a Saro, but that was never confirmed, and we're not going to confirm that. But <laughs> the but the whole idea that he is no, no, because by that by that logic, um, you know, uh, Chad is a as a freaking oh. Vizard or something like. Yeah. 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 Like that's stupid. That's that's like come on. Vizard is something very specific. You have you know it's a Shinigami who gained hollow powers. He isn't a Shinigami who gained hollow powers. He apparently was a freaking. He always was uh had. Hello. Uh, I'm back. <laughs> You're back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Apparently he always was you know always had full bring if he had it from birth. And as far as being a Shinigami, I mean. That's just added, but if you can recall, ever since losing his powers, Ichigo hasn't really been a full of Vizard either, so... Yeah, we haven't seen... All we've seen is really the... We've seen the Hollow once since then, and that was basically whenever Ichigo realized that that was his actual sandbox toe. Pretty much. So, the, the whole concept behind this, like, oh, you know, he's, you know, Ichigo, or, or what you call it, is a buys or something like that I, that doesn't that really doesn't hold much water like i don't think you can make that assumption at all yeah. because th there's just not there's just nothing there for that it really just isn't yeah so yeah that was the last question or do you want uh, more questions no i think i think i'm we can, we can't we can now oh you're roboting what are you loading uh nothing lies i'm not loading anything i swear He's loading but, his face. He's really a computer program. Calling yeah. Calling face, man. <laughs> I, I, I am Tron. What was me? No, but, um... I, I wish I, 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 think, I, I, think, I saw, I think... Oh, yeah. The, 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 the power cycle and everything. <laughs> Have you all noticed? It's April, by the way, guys. April. That means yeah. Age of Ultron's coming out soon. Yay! It, oh, I saw that. Don't, don't crap on my thunder. Don't crap on my thunder. No, I, no, I'm I, saw, not a I thought fan it was later of... in the year, honestly. I'm I know not you're not. I know you're not a fan. Wait, wait, wait! I'm not a fan of Marvel, but I do like the Avengers, the movies anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the movies, not 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 the TV show, um, but uh, yeah, maybe you should just uh, I don't know, that. I think that's all, that's all the stupidity we can handle for one day, you know? Yeah. It, it's we only should totally do like a dedicated one. 
Oh, uh, yeah, maybe next time, but, um... No, 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 like a dedicated one, not knowing, no. no, no. Oh, well, anyway, uh, 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 that's been this, the, uh, the second version of this Chapter 6 or 2 podcast. More fun than the last one, because Sal was here, and he, he is the life of the party. No, well, well, we did, I had fun in the last one, don't we? Well, I had more fun this time, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, I, th I think the reason it was more fun, like, well, well, I don't think it was more fun, I still had fun the last one, but I think the reason that it was fun was because me, you, and Fufu Man, that's his new nickname, by the way, Fufu Man, um, me and you, Fufu yeah. Man, were um, kind of, like, like, oh my god, I can't believe we have to do this again, so it kind of felt more of a relief, like, yay, someone has something new to say, because <laughs> we yeah. were kind of saying rehash and stuff, and trying yeah. to remember what we had said before, yeah. like, because we had, we, we, even in the last one, we were even discussing why Fufu Man likes Glaceon. Yeah. And the reason for that is that he hatched an egg and got it to level 100 and it was female. Was yes. that right? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's all, that's all you need to know. Anyway, um, I guess we, we should sign off then. Sorry, and, uh... Fufu Man, you didn't get to talk much, are you okay? Yeah, 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 I'm okay. It's fine. Just, just one <laughs> thing, though. If if anybody wants me to sing more of Let It Go as Jack Atlas from Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge, <laughs> just, just let it go. I, yeah, I, will, I, will, I will I will Because I will I will be completely willing to do that. So I, I, you give Sal a sample. I don't think he knows what you're talking about. I don't <laughs> wanna know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, go on, do it, do it. Don't do it. <laughs> do don't do it. it. Do don't it. do it and say you did. I right, don't do, do that, I just do don't want to do it. Just do no. it. You want me to just do it right here? Yeah, yeah. do it. Damn. Okay, 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 hold on. You need to remember the song first. Okay. Uh... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the lyrics. <laughs> My power flurries through the air into the ground. Okay, that's it. Wow. <laughs> Some things you just can't unhear. <laughs> Oh, are you are 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 you are you are you are you happy with that? Are you you proud of that? <laughs> yeah. Proud of that? yeah, I am very proud of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, your man has the same voice for near enough every character, doesn't he? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is just random Yu-Gi-Oh abridged angry character. <laughs> Ice powers on motorcycles. <laughs> oh yes. Let it oh. go. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Here's your face. Oh please. my God! Please. Disapprove it down in the background, like oh my God. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Z snap. Z -snap hey, you committed. Right. You took over everything. I had to give him a bit of limelight. I know. I know. I know. It's means <laughs> it future needs his time in the spotlight. Yeah. But... Um, anyway, if you get requests at the end of the video, we can get him to do something next time too. Yeah. Oh. So uh, tell us what you want, what you really want. Anyway, uh, bye. Sing as a god. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. Bye, everyone. Nine, Good god. Nine, nine, nine. Holy god. That's what I call a close encounter.